Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can tie a tie. First, let's go through a quick synopsis of Thai history. Yeah. Thai tying can be traced back to the Croatian missionaries, who were soldiers who served in France during the Thirty Years' War. Their sense of fashion, which originally started with handkerchiefs, was adopted by the French nobility, then modified over and over to modern-day tie tying. I hope you guys enjoyed our little history lesson, so now let's get into some fun facts. Okay. Did you know that there are 177,000 ways to tie a tie? And we're learning them all. I hope I got you guys because imagine, oh my God. Yeah. Um, anyways, no, but today we're gonna be learning how to tie a Windsor tie, a half Windsor tie, a four um, in hand tie, and an Eldridge tie. Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate how to do the half Windsor knot. So first, you're going to want to measure your tie length. Depending on the size of your tie, the length of your tie, excuse me, you will generally want to measure it to your belly button. So first, you're going to want to take the thicker part of your tie and go over the thinner part to the left. Following that, you're going to want to take the thicker part of your tie and then go under the thinner part of your tie to the right. Proceeding, you will want to go over your tie and go through the top hole. Continuing, you will want to go over the knot that you just created to the left. And then you will want to go under through the big hole again. And then you'll always want to keep your finger right here where you went over and go through that hole. And then there you go, you have a, a half Windsor knot. Um, typically, I like to wear this tie to church. It's more of a casual tie because it's sturdy and very symmetrical. Um, so yeah. All right, bye. All right, just kidding guys, I haven't left yet. But now I'm gonna show you guys how to tie the Windsor knot. Um, so you're going to follow the same steps as earlier, and you're going to measure typically to your belly button. Then you will go over to your left one more time over the thinner side of your tie. Then for this step, instead of going all the way across to your right, you are going to go over then under through the hole. Oops. Then you will pull to this side. All right. Now, now that's on your right side, you're going to go under and then through the hole again. And now it's going to be on your left side. So now you're going to pull under one full time and over. And then you're going to want to keep your finger right here so the hole doesn't close. Then you're going to take your tie, pull under and pull it through the hole. All right. And the difference between this tie and the half Windsor tie is that this is thicker and sturdier and more symmetrical. All right, and that's the Windsor tie. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how to tie the forehand knot. So again, you're gonna measure from your with well, like the thinner side going to your belly button, or however long your tie is, and then you are going to go over, um, thicker side over thinner side to the left. From there, you are going to go under, back to the left. Then you are going to go over to the right. From there, you are going to go through the big hole, and don't forget to keep your finger here where you went over, and now you're gonna go through that hole. There you go. That is the forehand and knot. Um, typically, I like to wear this tie with like classic looks. You know, like if I was, like if I was going on a yacht or something, like, this would be my classic look. You know, like something simple, something not that crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the Eldridge knot. 
So first, you're going to measure your tie. Again, typically the thinner side is to your belly button and the thicker side is to your, um, however, however long it is. And then you are going to take the thicker side and over the narrow side. And you are going to do that three times wrapping around. Um, keep your finger over the first time you go around. So then one, two, three. All right, and now you're going to pull through the neck hole and then down the hole that your finger is occupying. Then you can pull the other side tighten. Usually it should be longer than that, but my tie is a little short. And that is how you do the Eldridge knot. All right, guys, and that is how you tie ties. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have some good content times coming soon. Um, I'm going to have a trailer in my YouTube channel.